Connotative versus denoted meaning. A word might literally mean one thing. It's denoted meaning. But mean a completely different or maybe slightly different thing to the audience. It's connotative meaning. The meaning they've constructed from how they've heard it used or from what context they've heard it used in. That is very important for when one writes or uses a word. Your audience will hear or read the connotative meaning. More often they will to denote a meaning. So how you use a word and what words you choose are vital for what picture your audience gets. Yes, bears have lips, but if you write that, your audience does not see that. When you write, the bear licked her lips, they don't see a bear licking its lips, they see a bear licking human lips. I mean, a bear licked its chops is much better. And yes, I made that mistake. Another example is cheap versus inexpensive versus bargain. Th something that is cheap might not cost very much, but it implies that it's also poorly made, but not of equal value for its cost. Something that is inexpensive kind of has a neutral meaning. It just means it doesn't cost much. Those things can have a positive meaning that it doesn't cost much for what it is. Verse that bargain means something that for its cost is of great value. Very different means, even though all three words relatively mean something that doesn't cost much. Another example is, I once had a door-to-door -door salesman come to my door, and I had no soliciting sign. When I pointed out the sign and said, no soliciting, he said, I'm not selling sex, I'm not a prostitute. Apparently, this store door salesman had only heard the word soliciting referring to solicitous behavior, aka people soliciting to sell sex. Even though soliciting just means to go about trying to get people to purchase things. A more serious example of this is the word concentration camp. The denoted meaning is a guarded compound for the detention or imprisonment of a group like aliens, members of an ethnic minority, political opposition, etc. Though even though it just might mean this, and maybe you're using it to refer to just a place where a group is held for a period of time because they're not known who they are, they don't have documentation, maybe, maybe you're actually referring to a prison where they're held because they're criminals. That's a group being held under a guarded compound. Or maybe even you're referring to a hospital as you have a group of people, aka the sick and afflicted, who are held at a compound, the hospital, so that they can get better and they are guarded so that no one can take them out and so that they don't leave before they are better. And yes, you might think I was stretching that with that, but detention means just to hold someone in a place for a reason. In the security profession, we use the word detention in the same of very different meanings. Detention means to hold someone for a reason. Normally in security profession, holding someone for a place until the police can arrive and decide what to do. Detainment would be arresting or imprisoning the person. But if you use concentration camp for any of these, your audience are not seeing any of those. They are only seeing Auschwitz which I don't think you intend to show. What the word means to your audience, especially what it means in their subconscious, is vital as that's what your audience will see. And the writer wants to show what they are picturing. So use the words that have the connotative meaning you're looking for, not just the denotive meaning. Like and subscribe.